If you need coins in FC25, lootbar.gg has you covered. They are the cheapest trading platform on the game, 8 to 10% cheaper than any others, 8% off if you use the code JT11 at the end at checkout, plus you get 5% extra on coins. With the fastest delivery system going, used by many FC25 creators such as Zorki, Manny Plus, and even Pro Owners. So if you need any coins, head over to lootbar.gg, make sure JT11's in the promo code, and hopefully you enjoy. So today I thought we'd try something different. We've obviously got a lot going around with different squads, with different formations, with different tactics, roles, the whole shebang. So there is actually a website in SBC, or Meta SBC, I think it's called, um, where you can actually make the best squad for the price. So all you have to do is go ahead and add the squad in. You can obviously put the formation and go with a max price. It will then go through its system, its algorithm, and pick the best meta scored players. So I thought, you know what? Let's give it a go. We've gone from 50k, 100, 150, all the way up to a million coins to see what cards we actually get and if they are decent enough to say this is the best squad for this price. Now, I don't know if I could argue with a meta scoring because when it looks like a 50k team, for instance, we'll load it up, ignore the fact that the players are not on there. We can kind of go through them still. But I can't argue with like the 50k because when you're thinking 50k, I'm thinking 50k per player and that equals over, a, say, like what, a 600 a 550k team if you was to do 50k per player so already we're coming in at a low ball there granted yes you can have a 650 coin player a 6k player and then maybe have 1.4 up front and obviously when it comes to the different uh almost the different priorities this will have obviously i feel like a lot of people would go for a striker first and and spend say 20k of the budget on a striker and then strip down the midfield and defense and make sure that your attack is up there so we've gone with the, the 50k for me they've gone far too much in the budget for for a goalkeeper if i'm being brutally honest uh, i think 17 and a half for that would be just outrageous to do it like that there is an unfortunate like a a position thing where you can say spend the most money on the striker and bring it down as you go through the positions but that is technically the best meta scored 50k team and obviously, a lot of people are going to look for higher than that anyway. When we look at 100k, we're starting to get up there. Obviously, they've now gone for Donnarumma. I can slightly get behind it. They're obviously going a bit more on Mar uh, Marquinhos. Nuno Mendes is never a bad shout. Kimpembe, in a little bit of an evolutions, could be good. Same with Klaus. These are players that are going to be kind of like your day one sort of squads. They're not necessarily going to be two months from now, three months, because SBCs are a thing, and obviously Icons Heroes are in multiple rewards that we should get. They've obviously got Kessie. The only thing I don't know is if they've got, well, they've got 31 chemistry, so I mean, at least they thought about that, to be fair to it. You obviously got Swanson up front. Would say she's more of a left wing, but I could definitely get behind it. She's very, very good player. Up, up front in the attacking role anyway. We've obviously got Lavelli still chilling around in that midfield purely for chemistry reasons, I can imagine, which, again, is not a terrible thing. Let's bump it up again. We'll go up to the 150k mark. We're starting to now get a team together. We've got Donnarumma back in. The good thing with the keepers at this point, if you've not watched the uh, kind of best players under 50k, check the channel as obviously keepers are in it. And just as a spoiler... Very rarely they go over 50,000. So once we get to that sort of level, there shouldn't be another one. Also, I have excluded icons and heroes for this purely on the fact that they are so up in price at the moment that I I wouldn't say that's going to be a best squad when you're paying 110k for a Keen. I'd much rather go for like a, a 50k Chuamene or something like that. It, it's just going to be a lot better until we get that full rewards. Obviously, we've got uh, champs giving out icons and also heroes. So that's going to have a massive inf impact on on the actual market of heroes and icons in themselves. So we've got uh, Chalanoglu, we've got Patry, we've got a bit of Peugeot up front. It's a decent one. Um, I'm not complaining about that one. I think that's actually quite balanced, to be honest. Could go with a better right back if I'm being brutal, but again, he's more than likely going for his meta scoring and, and the fact that he'll get the chemistry as well. So I think that's not a terrible one. I think as we go up into around about 300 and above we're going to start seeing some nice players going on donnarumma still in net we've got bastoni you can see a lot of the same players and that's always the good thing when you're looking at an algorithmic uh, sort of team if they consistently pick one player for instance uh lazari obviously then you've looked at lavelli 
it might not be the worst card in the world. Now, definitely there's going to be better options. And this is not an untradeable team, unfortunately. So I can't guess that you've packed Hyunmin's son. So I can't put him in and, and go around him. But in terms of what we're seeing, Tomore always up there. We've obviously got Pulisic. He looks very good this year. Martinez, very good striker as well. Looks very interesting to see him up front as his 89 rated self. Coming in at now 53,000 coins. We've got our first inform going on as well with Zachariah. Always a solid DM and obviously it has got the playmate uh, the the role ability down there as well if you want to try that out we will move up one more let's get into the 300k then so again we're looking like we're going back to Marquinhos Arejo finding his first position here Hakimi Nuno Mendes Donnarumma being solid once more you've obviously then got the likes of Lorente he again is a little bit more of an inflated price because we are due a big big evolution for him he got one last year I can see the same happening again Kamenvinga coming back into the team with a bit of Pedri we've then got Komen Peugeot and a very expensive Rafinha looks decent on the wing very nice indeed with his role plus no play style pluses really coming up at these sort of prices we might get a couple obviously Donnarumma I believe has one but it's going to be interesting to see the final one so let's get into the 400k as we see Donnarumma in net shock who could have guessed you then got Hakimi Gravadal, Marquinhos, and Nuno Mendes. Solid back line. We've then thrown in a bit of Rodri and KDB. The only issue I have with this is it's fine to maybe have one, but I do think with their lack of pace might be a little bit of an issue in the midfield. We've got Joel Linton to add a bit of pace. Never thought I'd add that sentence in again. But I, I think with Rodri and De Bruyne, unless you've got like someone with 80, 90 plus pace in the middle that might be the in-between box to box, I think that would be better. Like maybe swapping this over a little bit just to have him holding back a little bit more. I know his shooting and, and passing is pretty good. But I, I think for me, that's going to be a bit of a slow midfield going forward. We then obviously have Hemp, we have Isaac, and also Foden up there. Foden's going to be fantastic, as we know. Technical plus on him. Isaac looks unbelievable and is dropping even more, which is fantastic. And then Hemp, not a bad card again. I think the pace-wise, it's going to be very much pace abuse, more so than anything. Now we're sticking on to half a million coins. A crazy amount now. So we've gone again with KDB Rodri. Clearly they've got very good meta scores. We've gone with the same back line bar from Bastoni's now in. Always a very good one as well. We've got Barella in the midfield to help with the links. We've then got Martinez to help again with the links all being into Milan. So they all get the main chemistry with them. And then we've kind of kept the same everywhere else. Marquinhos, Hakimi. We've got Nuno Mendes. Foden's back up there with Hemp. It's an interesting one. Again, it, it's it's nice to see a difference. And if you are building a squad, for instance, if I was to just show you, you can obviously go with a few different options. They don't just give you one. So it tells you what their meta-algorithmic uh, score is. So, for instance, we've got the best chem and then the best um, rating. But then you can kind of choose a few different ones. They may just have a few different players. Like you see, Martinez features in quite a lot of them. But then you go down one. We've got a bit of Doku with Martinez. Peugeot with... Um, and, uh, Nico Williams, going to say Anaki, uh, Rafinha, Patry. So there is quite a lot of def decent ways that you can do this. Moving up one more to the 600k. Again, we are now looking at Koble in net. I'm assuming because of Adeyemi being there. It's an interesting one. Don't know if I'd quite go with Adeyemi. I think informs especially might be just a little bit inflated as well. Especially some that have come from the first or second week where it might have been a little bit more difficult to actually get him. Schlotterbeck's in there though with Hakimi, Marquinhos and Rolfo's back in the fold. Zachariah, Patry and a lovely Bon Matty as a 91 centre mid chilling which is always nice. Then we've got Rafinha, Peugeot and also Adeyemi. Again, I might probably go without the informs as well. That would be nice to have a kind of balance there as well. We then look into the 700k. What are we looking at? So we've only changed a couple of players there. Arejo's come back. Obviously, Donnarumma's come back. Carvajal now in the fold with Nico Williams. We've again got uh, Bonmati in there with Barella and Lorente. Peugeot and also Rafinha are there as well. Also, with these prices, because they're updated daily, we're seeing ups and downs of players left, right, and center. So if you're doing this right before champs and right after, you might get two massively different results, which would be very interesting to see who is where, basically, then. 
800k nearly at the end now we go back now we've got the kind of the top rated slash priced keeper with Allison in net we have a Turkish right back I can't remember you pronounce his name but again nice meta score if you're looking at it Delo might not be a bad one as well we've then got Bremer Bastoni and Teo Hernandez coming in at 300,000 with the lovely same midfield of Rodri De Bruyne and also Barella and then we've got the famous three of Hemp Martinez and Foden up front 900k the penultimate one we are going with Donnarumma and lovely Rudiger looks insane this year he looks unbelievable we've obviously got Carvajal to link Marquinhos is there with a bit of Rolfo we've then got Bon Matti Barella and Lorente Rafinha Peugeot and also Nico Williams back in the fold who does look very very good in this game he's an interesting one I definitely think if he manages to get a special card to bump up a little bit of more of that shooting and passing he is going to be very very high priced and finally, we have got the million coin uh, SBC squad. We have got Courtois in there, Lorente. We've got Rudiger, Bastoni, a big boy, Ferland Mendy. I think if you're looking at prices, Ferland Mendy would definitely be my choice over Teo at the moment. 300k on your left back is going to be criminal. But we've still got that midfield of De Bruyne, Rodri and Barella. And then we finally finish up with Nico Williams, Foden and a Martinez up front. Martinez definitely worth having a look at at a minimum because he has been featured in a lot of squads and especially coming in at 50,000. Could he be the next striker to improve your team? Let me know down below what you think and what is the price of your squad currently. Peace.